Hey everybody, it's Marcus here with Goody Reader, and today we're going to give you a tutorial on how to borrow books from the library for your Amazon Kindle. So you can see that we are going to be using the brand new $79 Kindle e-reader as the e-reader of choice for this tutorial, but you can feel free if you have any other versions of the Kindle, this tutorial will work. This is simply the one that we're using. The first thing that you want to make sure is that you have a library card and a PIN number for the OverDrive library. So you want to be able to make sure that your local library does support OverDrive. If you do, you're pretty well good to go. Recently, Amazon introduced the feature that allows Kindle users to borrow books from the library in Kindle format. This is something that many people have been asking for for a number of years and it's finally happened. So if you want to search your library for Kindle books that are only available, we have logged into our account here and what we want to do is click on advanced search. So you can see a number of options here that allows you to refine your searches. What I'm going to do is on a format, I'm going to select Kindle book and then I'm going to check mark the box here that says only show titles with copies available. For the purpose of this tutorial, I just want to quickly go and show you how to borrow a book. Although if you find a book that you want to borrow but it's maybe not available, you can uh, put a hold on it so when uh, prior users who have borrowed the book, when they return it, you can uh, download it to your Kindle. So let's, you can see here that it has EPUB, PDF, Kindle book. So let's, uh, let's try to download a book here, Drinking Midnight Wine by Simon R. Green. We definitely want the Kindle book, and if the Kindle book is available, it'll say add to go cart. If it's not available, it'll say place a hold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add to go cart. So it says the lending period is seven days. The Kindle book I could use on Kindle and free Kindle apps, so you don't necessarily need a Kindle e-reader. If you have an iPad, you can download the Amazon app. If you have an Android device, you can download the Amazon app for that as well, and so on. So what I'm going to do is click on Proceed to Checkout. And you see some information here, maximum checkouts, current number of titles checked out, checkouts remaining. So what I'm going to do is confirm checkout. So it gives you some details on when you've checked it out and when the loan expires. So I'm going to click on get for Kindle. And it'll automatically open an Amazon account. And you have to be logged in. So if you're not logged in, you want to log in. Uh, I'm already logged in. So the best thing to do is before you check out a book from the library to already be logged into your Amazon account just for seamless downloading. You can see there's a lot of information here. You need an active Wi-Fi connection. It'll automatically back up your notes and highlights if you decide to purchase the book later. And you can choose which device to deliver it to here. You can see I have a number of devices here. A lot of Kindles, Android for iOS, as well as Kindle for PC. So I'm going to deliver it to my new Kindle that I have here, and I'm going to select Get Library Book. So on my Kindle now, it'll, uh, it'll show up under my archived options. Now let's say that you're not in a Wi-Fi area and you want to just manually copy the book to your e-reader. The next thing that you want to do is go to I like to go to my account then I can click on view Kindle orders and it'll show you all the books that you've you know purchased or are free so here's the book here drinking midnight wine it says that it is a library book I can click on the details button here and see a number of details and then I can click on actions and 
if I say when I initially checked it out, maybe I sent it to my wrong device, I can re-deliver it to specific devices. Options to purchase the book. Download and transfer you via USB. Return this book and delete from library. So let's just click on download and transfer you via USB and I'll get into the other options in a moment. So I'm going to just click download and it will say drinking midnight wine dot a z w which is the Amazon format and I'm going to save this format instead of saving it to my say computer by default since my Kindle is plugged in what I'm going to do is click on the documents folder and then I'm going to click save now this book is officially on my Kindle so once I unplug it from my PC the book will automatically be on my home screen. I'm going to click cancel. Let's say that you have finished the book before the seven day loan period is up. I can simply click on return this book and it'll put this book back to the library so other users can download it. Now you can see it's reloaded up. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to delete this book from my library. Because I've returned it, there's really no need for it to take up a lot of space. As you can see, I have a lot of books here and, some, and various pages of it. So I like to keep my uh, shelf relatively clean. So I'm just going to delete it from my library. And then this means that when the page refreshes, uh, the book will no longer be there. So what we have done is we've successfully checked out a book via the OverDrive library and we've sent it to our Kindle. So again, you can transfer it manually to your Kindle via USB, but you could also sync it via you know, uh, Amazon's Wi-Fi or if you have a 3G e-reader. So hopefully you found this tutorial insightful and you pretty well have all the tools that you now need in order to download a Kindle book from the library. For goodyreader.com, my name is Marcus, and everybody take care.